be totally and brutally honest here. Sean Corbin makes Valerie Brudov look like Ivan Drago. It's as simple as that. He's beat what's in front of him tonight. He faces me. He's gonna visit mental demons again. And let's get let's get something straight. Come to me, mate. You come to me. Next time, ain't no judges gonna be needed. I'm gonna do worse than Kovalev. I am gonna do worse than Kovalev. Saturday night, mate, you better hold it together. I'm gonna smash it near you to pieces, mate. I'm gonna hurt him. When he gets in the ring and we get 10 ounce gloves on, I'm gonna smash his head to bits. I'm gonna do it November the 30th against all odds. No matter what people say, the journalists write what you want. All as I'll say is tune back in and then look at me on December the 1st when I am world champion. It's as simple as that. I'm willing to die in that ring. It's as simple as that. I am willing to die. I'm willing to die, Sati. Is he? You're fucking right. So keeping with the theme of going back in time, I've managed to fish out another little clip to lead us into Bell of the Week for episode 491. Uh, Andy was talking to hater Dave Loback back in the Mayweather Pacquiao preview special. The fight had been signed, everyone was buzzing. Hater oh, Dave oh. was patting away. And uh, all of a sudden, Andy, talent spotted that he is, uh, recognised a potential future panellist in our midst and dragged her out onto the call. Let's have a listen. What the fuck? I just Why wanted to make cheese? a comment about, about the judging. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm personally not too worried about dodgy judging. I mean, I know it's Vegas. There's a very good chance that we'll probably get something that's way off. But in a fight like this that everybody's going to be right. seeing, I think the fans are going to be the judges. Right. And if it is... Is wide in one way, and somebody gets robbed. Everyone's gonna know. Well, you know, um, nice. everyone's gonna see it. Everybody's gonna know which guy won the fight, even if unless it's a Dave. very close fight, and then which, which case doesn't Dave. really matter. Dave, who's your female in the background, mate? That's Dave, your that's, that's your my son. mom. I thought it was your mum. <laughs> that your mum? You can put her on the phone. No, no, she doesn't want to talk. Come on, put her on the phone. That's how who's friends all win. Well, put her on the phone. I want to ask her a question. What do you want to ask her? I'll tell her. No, put her on the fucking phone. I'm not going to be a prick or anything like that. I'll be a gentleman. Put her on the phone. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> said, he sounds a bit question. wary saying that. What's her name, by the way? Hello. Hello, dear. What, sorry, what, Hello. what's your name? Hi, can you hear me? This, I'm David's mom. Hi, sorry, what's David's mum? What's your name? Question for What's your name, sorry? Cindy. Cindy, Cindy. Cindy. Are you are you pumped for the Mayweather Park Hell fight? Oh I, I can't wait, yeah. May second, I'm ready. Ready? Who's gonna win? Um, I think Pacquiao's gotta win for sure. Yes. Yes, we'll have that. We'll have that. <laughs> I'll give you back to David. Thank you, cheers. You have to go by who's cuter. Who's cuter? Pacquiao or Mayweather? Oh, you like the Asian men, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I like the Latinos. <laughs> I'm done, Asian. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, actually. Cindy Lowe like, oh, back in the house. <laughs> fucking Tommy and Cut on the call as well. <laughs> you Scots are some of the most classless sons of bitches on the face of the earth. What are you talking about? I was, I was, I was absolutely was. perfectly pleasant to yeah. him. What are you talking about, you yeah, cunt? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you like the Asian men. <laughs> so what, like, what, what, is Pacquiao Asian? He's no, he's not a fucking not white, a he's, not, he's not a white Caucasian guy, is he? With fucking <laughs> for Scotland, he's not a fucking black man for Denver or anything like that. He's a fucking that, Asian. No, he's part that Spanish. That wasn't Cindy's only appearance, Andy. I'm not going to play anymore, by the way. But she oh, came on another fuck. couple of times, didn't she? <laughs> Well, and I, 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 I think you're purposely trying to go through uh, through fucking videos here trying to fucking flame us and get us to fucking fail. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm expecting something bad to here crop up some, some week. That. Steve, just think if you spent this, like, I, 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 I'm almost tempted to, like, get the predictions for next week out to you guys earlier in the week so you could spend your time watching footage. Because I'm almost curious, how could you be if I gave you homework? That's well over five years ago, that call, by the way, must have been. Yeah, Jesus 2015. We, mm-hmm. we escaped cancel culture, and when is he going to dig it up to make sure that we finally get cancelled? <laughs> <laughs> no. I tell you what, I ho- I hopefully my, uh, Steve doesn't dig up that fucking Orlando Cruise. The Orlando one, Cruise my, one? Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> we have to fucking fish that one off the airwaves pretty quick. That uh, That is one of the funniest things that I have ever been a part of in my entire life. I had That's one of the greatest lines my, ever. Uh, my, my laughing so much by that night, it was... The, the puns and the innuendos were just off the charts. Man, our knees. 
<laughs> I can't remember everything that got cut out of that. Like I remember Hank Miller did that again, just a bit. He really? Just that's, a bit, I'm sure. Didn't I think... Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. There was just such. It was at least twenty minutes it cut. I think. That's bullshit. That was, that was the days. That was that was the days before we, 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 we did the live episodes as well. We reached to record it, then up it. The, in the very early days. People haven't. That's ridiculous. People haven't heard because for the people haven't heard it. I mean, I don't give a shit. Tommy had a great line yeah. in there. He, 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 Tommy said. He said. Oh, on, he said on Saturday night, uh, Cru- Cruz is getting beaten around the ring. Also, he's fighting Salito. <laughs> No, we it get was, uh, now if that got paid. It was, it was the. It's, it was, that is too. That is too colloquial and esoteric. I, I, I think it was the customer comment. It was a customer. Oh no, the comment, customer, oh, no, customer auto comment, Andy. That was, um, that was on the Bryn Jonathan Butler episode when he came on to talk oh, about Tyson's upbringing. I was on that call as well. He said, uh, "Oh, did you know Cost was from England?" <coughs> and he said, "Really? Ramsbottom. Yeah, he was born in England. He's from Ramsbottom." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought there was a bit. Yeah, I thought it was that same episode. Good. No. Jesus well, even Jesus. though I cut these, I can't take the tre- credit for going out and finding them again. They came up on the comments, and I noticed the comment popped up saying, I can't believe Dave Loback's mom came on the call. And I was like, oh, hang on a minute. I must <laughs> I, must, I must, I must, cut that one. And that's how I found out about it. Same with you and the Sonic the Hedgehog rings. Someone had like, <laughs> made mention of it in the, in the comments. There you go. Hey, hey, Andy, read Josh Ford's comment. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I just put one in the NFL. They'll give me a second here. Where's the comment? Most of the pop- it's on the page. I'll read it out for the audio. He says, I remember listening to the post Bell You Clev podcast now and he's saying the best thing about the card is getting oil sex. That's true. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into the fucking details, (laughs) but that card was so shit and so boring. I managed to fucking divert for a couple of minutes. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) How many details do you need? I mean, that's pretty much, it's quite succinct. And then (laughs) I ended up getting, what fight was that? Was that the rematch? I, I, yeah, I wasn't the first that, fight good and the second fight sucked. Yeah, it was the rematch, rematch. Yeah, ended up in the old state that night. I wasn't. I'll tell you, what, I was. I was far worse for the fucking uh, Klitschko Fury fight, mate. That was fucking hanging out my farter for about two days after that fight. <laughs> Pair Paul, I think Paul Webby even got fucking bodied because he. I remember him saying that that, that, that Klitschko was going to knock out Fury with a fucking jab, and I was like, I ain't having this. And I think Tommy was even having to go back up as well, eh? coming out with comments like that. I wonder if either of your children were conceived because the fight was horrible. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to hang mate. Um, Are we into the no. value of the week? Have we gotten there? What How the long day? ago was Broner Maidana, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that Marcus Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, the, my, my oldest was born at that time, mate. She, I think that was, 20, was that 2013 that fight, Steve? 2013, 2014? 13, 14. Was it 14? Yeah, so my, 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 my daughter was about 18 months, two year old at that time, and the wee man came by accident. By, <laughs> I literally came by accident. Um, I'm not getting to that one, mate. I, I got I got fucking assaulted that entire weekend, mate. So I'll leave it at that. <laughs> God, that. Yeah, if That's I find any more weekend of debauchery, you can get it, innit? <laughs> yeah, it is, mate, especially, especially when you're at your prime in that, mate. But nowadays you're just like a fucking wasted rag. You know, fuck off. <laughs> pull, pull the light when you finish and switch the light off as well. Clean me up. <laughs> I'll, tr- I'll see if I can find out any more clips. It's good job we're not going to get cancelled anyway. We escaped know, yeah. all that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like uh, Dr. FMG's. That Scottish champ straight from the Sean Connery playbook. Well, you're just funny, funny. Oh, dear. Anyway, on to the belly of the weeks. Your first nomination. Um, an- announcement from Isaac Lowe. Hello. <laughs> Said day for Britain. <laughs> Said Isaac. I think he's doing it on purpose at this point. He's fucking good to be here. <laughs> He's a good lad in the old eyes. Like he's, he's funny enough. I see that he's, <laughs> I see that he's verified, and I oh, he's verified. I, right? want, I wonder who had to assist him in that process. <laughs> yeah. Just how you put your phone on, Isaac. He, he <laughs> here, press it here. It says on O N. Spanish language verified. Um, the WBC have created a new special WBC belt, Andy, the Zapoteca belt, also known as the Jaguar Warrior belt, which will be awarded to the winner of Canelo versus yes. Triple G on September. Yes, mate, I responded to this tweet with all the dignity I could muster. Get what I said? What? Fuck off. <laughs> hey, can I all get another gift wrap that fucking belt there, man? Hey, another fucking shitty 
Fucking, what was the other one? That's Tecker Bell, that type of shit. I know he's into he's into art and all that type of stuff, man, but fuck me. Steve, I, I, I kid you not, I really like that belt because I think it matches these shoes that I just bought at the Adidas store. <laughs> I, I might go and grab them real quick and go on cam. So, uh, yeah. Top of some yeah, acid. Yeah, 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 top, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you, you guys go on, but I'll be back. And I'll well, as a wise man once said, Matty, it was what it was and it is what it is. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the quote has been nominated. You belong with the legends, someone said, and then they put her up there with Floyd and Tommy Hearns and James Joe Tony, Lewis, Sugar James Ray, Tony, Sugar Ray. <laughs> the all fuck's the Ali, man? Where's Ali? Oh, Look at this. <laughs> fuck's sake. Well, Brian Deal, Rob, did make his own version of different legends. <laughs> I thought that was the version that he was actually after. No. Uh, it wasn't, but no. <laughs> fucking easy, Who's- I am. Who's the one top left, Steve, with the, with, the, with the... Well, I thought it was KSI, but apparently it's FA Ajagba, I think Dominic oh, has it? rightly um, identified. Oh, here's Matty now live. Let me get rid of this. Put them in the bin, Matty. There we go. Put them in the bin. There you go. Oh, sorry, Matty. I cut you off. Uh, where are we? How do I get... Hey, man. Solo layout. There we go. Face for radio, this fella. That's why we don't do camera. Uh, face with hot hoose, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Matty. Do they have uh, do they have fucking bray lumps up the side of them them runners, do they? Let's <laughs> <laughs> see you smoke that bong. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, FA Jaguar apparently. We've got Yildrim down the bottom there. We've got the dock. The gad. The gad. Gary gad. And the Morty gad. glows in the dark. <laughs> and Wellings, the biggest deviant to the lot in the top corner there as well. So there you go. Well done, Ryan. He's quite the Photoshop. He also produced this one for us as well, which you've seen, the Ooh. Phantom of the Okra. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Woo. That's quality. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this one. Get this fucking musical on the road, please. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Phantom of the Okra. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. Yeah, next one here, Michael Benson has been uh, tweeting out, Shoes is nominated to this. Tony Bellew is talking about Fury versus Joshua. AJ is the biggest draw. If you're going to be reasonable and say 50-50, it'd be crazy not to take it. But at 60-40, I would be hesitant because you bring an awful lot to the table, AJ. Probably more than the champion himself. <laughs> wow. Jesus fucking He's Christ. relentless, isn't he? <laughs> oh, mate, I'm telling you, it's just, it's just, it's just, he's, he's so far on Bellew, will you? Just get down off him, man. You're embarrassing yourself. Why would you be like that about another grown man, man? For fuck's sake, what's the matter with you? 60 40 for Anthony Joshua is one of the most generous offers that (laughs) I I could possibly fucking imagine in sports. I've said it before. I've said it before. He's so far up AJ's arse, you can look at his fucking eyeballs, by the way. That's how fucking far up is. He's even fucking taking rent. AJ's charging rent because he's got a self contained flat up there as well. Fucking hell, man. I fucking hate these percentage discussions. It's something that's after coming in in the like social media era or the internet era and all. Because I cannot fucking remember ever another time in the sport where Floyd fans Manny. of one fighter and another fighter would get together and argue with, with who who deserves a bigger share of the fucking purse based on what the commercial. First of all, numbers don't lie, so it'd be easy to fucking find out who the biggest draw is there if they wanted to. You know, they got fucking algorithms, all kinds of crazy shit, fucking analytics that they can. But it doesn't matter. Like, what the fuck has it got to do with Tony Bellew? Fucking hell, man. Give me a break. He deserves a 50-50. Fuck me. Would you just get down? What is it? When did this fucking relationship with AJ and Bellew fucking turn into this? Like, was it coincidentally when Bell- Bellew took his job on the zone? I don't know. Like, but it's fucking embarrassing. Like, Here, yeah, do my favor, Rob. I don't know if you're on your phone or got a laptop near you, but Google, go to the zone and check Tony Bellew's status in the zone. You don't just a pundit by your by all accounts. All right, mm-hmm. okay. I'm not going to be able to do that. Now, so someone's going to have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's some sort of. I I, I think you're going to dig it out again to, to give the exact title, but it was like some sort of editor or something. Like that. I, I don't know. So he's kind of like more involved rather than just being the front man, you know. It's an embarrassment. Yeah, but, is what it is. Exactly because at the end time, his comments about Gervonta Davis. You know, you need to come over a real platform. You need to join the zone ASAP. No fights for you, baby. M. Lithgow is right in the chat. I've said this myself in the past. Joshua doesn't even rec- ever re- mention him or recognise him. It's a one-way friendship. Joshua doesn't even know who he is. Joshua's got too many friends, man. That's his fucking problem. 
Here he is again. It's madness to lower ball, AJ. Tony Bellew on the Fury Joshua Purse bit. Bellew's How's that a low ball? How's that a low ball, really? I mean, come on, fuck. Fucking I mean, the money he's going to make, just forget about what he's going to make off the fight. I think about the money he's going to get off endorsements, man. Sponsorships. Interviews. Fuck me. He's going to be fucking you know, crawling in it. How much fucking money does he the cunt need? He's fucking a multi, multi millionaire. I know. Well, he's chief ring licker. Uh, Anthony Fowler's been getting stuck in on Twitter. He said, I asked my missus, his kid, what she learned at oh. school today. She said, Roman numerals. Surely they can teach children stuff they're actually going to use in life. She's only nine, but still. Gavin McDonald said, don't get me started on education, mate. I don't know one person who's doing well from going to school or uni. Fucking it. See that? See that? <laughs> not, his brother, <laughs> not his brother, anyway. <laughs> Aye. Listen, see that spam heavy that... wank bubble fowler, by the way. right now. If this is the cunt that pedal CPD is going to cure fucking COVID. Right? And whatever else it was, cancer and all this fucking shit. Oh, fucking dick. It's clearly his daughter or his son, whoever it was, has actually got a theme at school about the fucking Roman Empire, supposedly. And they've been learning about the fucking Roman numerals and how to count it. But, oh, man, it's all about fucking getting it out there. Get it out in the tweet, man. Get it out in the tweets. Get me, get me some attention. Fucking Muppet. I, I had to give his screen name another look there. I thought it said Big Twinkie Gay for some reason. <laughs> Apparently he recovered uh, who stole the pram on him as well. Your man phoned him and said, I'll give it, you can have it back if you give me IV hundred pounds. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah, but oh, I mean, just, what, so but, uh, we need to have a wee, a wee guess here. Maybe Matty can get out his parlay, but what's, uh, what, what movie is Bell you going to be in, do you think? Apparently he's in LA getting ready to shoot a film. I think it's another one of the Rocky films coming well, out. That's oh, where it'll be. Yes. Oh, they're, doing the drag, they're doing Drago. They're doing Drago. Stallone was raging. Was the, wasn't Stallone's it? cracking yet. I seen there Stallone was raging on Instagram. That's where it'll be. On the screen, Andy. He done a humble brag, didn't he? Not that's just a kid from Liverpool out in LA making movies. Don't let anyone blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That'll that's be it. the Drago film then. You're right, Rob, because I remember Stallone was raging on Instagram the other fucking week there. But loyalty and all that shit. And it's clear that they've got another fucking film lined up. So that's where it'll be. Rematch oh, between him and Apollo Creed's son. You imagine it, all the marbles. Remember, Bellew was kicking about Liverpool by a gun. That's how he got pulled out of that fight, wasn't it? Pretty, pretty yeah, Ricky Conlon. That was the yeah. that was the script, wasn't it? Absolute um, fucking Stallone's not happy about it. He said, "Are you scared? Okay." <laughs> What was he mic. so fucking? What was he so fucking uh, up in arms about Adrian for? She showed her fucking true colors when he went to go fight Drago, didn't she? He's at the bottom of the stage. But you can't win. Me? You can't win. So let's just shut the fuck about him enough on me mind to go fucking fight him in Russia. Mickey. Fucking Mickey was the same though, mate. He'll kill you to death, Rock. He'll kill you to death. You yeah. haven't been hungry since you won that belt. Well, <laughs> In the sixth Rocky movie, two of those people were dead and one wasn't. Guess who got the last laugh? Once somebody got the last laugh. Get up, you son of a bitch. Because Mickey loves you. Fucking hell. I've got nostalgia here, by the way. Jesus, fuck me. Oh, dear. Uh, Chris, <laughs> throwing in this one. I don't know what's happening over at Buckingham Palace, but it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at 18 stone about you. Oh, there's some bits of crackers flying about. <laughs> Savannah. Savannah Marshall got nominated. I can't remember who threw this in, but she's getting sponsored by Manjaro's. <laughs> the same Manjaro. Oh, shit. Fuck you, boy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Moving on. There's a, there's a new goat in town. She's not quite as glamorous as Floyd. Uh, someone nominated Joe Goose and says, look at the fucking state Better of that hair. melon. <laughs> fucking hell, man. He said that, he, he's had that fucking like, hair, hair dryer that they kind of fluff it a wee bit. Eh? Got to have, man. Got uh, to have. Him and Lennox are brutal on that comment, aren't they? I, Jesus. That, that, what's his name again? Mr. Mr. Host? Oh, Brian Kenny. Brian Kenny. He, he still calls him Lennox. 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 Yeah. Joe oh. looks like Robert De Niro after a chemical peel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when fucking when Henry Winkler had his fucking Indian summer in the movie business, isn't it? When he came back for like water boy and all. Hey, woman. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you. Every night. Mm. 
<laughs> I don't know where I am. Bring the producer over to my apartment tonight, and I'll show you a real man. Right. <laughs> get no shot. <laughs> <laughs> you get no shot, and I mean that. Let's take things up a level, boys. Let's take things up a level. There he is. Oh, <laughs> Baby. He says he's got no shame, Andy. He said nothing can embarrass me. That's what he said. And then, and then he hey, sort of appeared. Yeah. With, you, you could not run. You could not run. You could not fucking get that kind of redneck by blowtorch, by the way. <laughs> like, swear to fucking God, that guy's got no shame. I see he's, they're really putting out videos that he's struggling in fucking training, apparently, as well. He's something to get coaxed through fucking sessions. It's not good for AB, baby. It's sad to see. This video, though, one of the listeners sent this to me. I don't know if it was Gavin Graney or Joe Thackeray or one of the boys sent it to me on Insta. They were looking for Andy on Insta so they could send it to him. But <laughs> in this video, he um he kind of does like an Insta, Insta bird uh, move where he fucking shows his hair, but he's got his bare ass sticking up in the, back, in the background. So get that soft ass shit off the screen. Literally, Adrian, Adrian Broder. Oh. Is uh, is he going great or did he come some cum in his beard? <laughs> <laughs> but if she had a good spot back at him or something like that, you know, probably the one in the back of the limo again, is it? <laughs> oh, exactly. oh, the old hood rat. What a state that was, by the way. Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's take things up another level. Uh, Matthew Butters nominated uh, Bone Gardener. Here's one for you, Rob. I'm going to eat your ass. Unless yes. Ben Gardner goes in and gives it straight. Rob's <laughs> so that's not the first time Rob's heard that. It's just Rob's got insane. instant wood, by the way, right now. I can see it. Apparently, she threatened her after that. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> Rob, I'm going to ask you, right? If I'll ask all you, actually, because I, I mentioned it last week. It was about um, Shannon Courtney's eyebrows. Well, Bombgarner's done the same fucking thing. She shaved off her fucking eyebrows and painted some on. Why did they fucking do this? So this is... Wait, am I supposed to have the answer to this? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm I'm this sh- it should be the end, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was towards uh, Michaela Mayer? Yeah. Y- yeah. Well, you talk about things I'd spend eighty four ninety five on. Are your OnlyFans, Matty? Oh, hey, talk about OnlyFans. Andy Ruiz's trunks with OnlyFans on the fucking back here. Oh, Imagine yeah. that, by the way. fucking, you know... Yeah, yeah, his subscriptions are through the fucking roof, all right? For sure. uh, <laughs> God's in a Mars bar, the fat cunt. Well, if you want big tits on OnlyFans. That's the great thing about having a fat ass is you can Happy. have a bigger advertisement. We want full, we want full round ones, Rob. No fucking saggy fucking something, you know, you know... Tattooed it, ones. Exactly, mate. <laughs> you know. There he is. <laughs> He's a state, isn't he, man? It looks like Johnny Vegas going into white size of that, Look man. Look at the state of him. Look at that. He's even got snakes and ladders in his fucking neck tattoo there as well. <laughs> the state of that as well. Fucking hell. He's in some shape. Yeah, Joe Kennedy's nominated the WBC. They called, shout out to both fighters. What a fight. Fight of the year candidate, uh, the WBC, said Andy. Oh, fight of the year candidate. Dick. Maybe fucking sleep of the year candidate, possibly, mate. Because I had fucking some problems sleeping last week after my fucking heavy cold and that. But fuck me. Watch that shit on repeat with fucking pity to sleep at the end and saw me there. Trust me. Fucking garbage fight, mate. That's garbage. A terrible fucking comment. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Shane, Shane Mosley. Nominated hey, by the Come on. You got the fucking on, Randy Savage specs, wouldn't you? Yeah, Miss Elizabeth. He looks like um, you know, when birds get like a delivery from Sheen and they put it up on fucking Instagram. <laughs> Sheen Hall, see through this little see through number. What's he asking? Shane? Like, is this like, would the son not go have a word with a man? Da, for fuck's sake, get off Instagram, stop fucking meeting ones on Tinder, and fucking change your shirt down, will you? You're making a show of us. Yeah, <laughs> like no, Rob, gonna... Rob, Rob, no, he, he's one half of the uh, new cover group, Black Said Fred. <laughs> 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 hey, I'll tell you what, he's all man's looking in. Decent shape, any Jack? Aye, aye, Looking yes, well. Jack, aye. Mm. Jack's after trading in the sailor hats. He's fucking retired from the fucking from the seas. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Randy Savage specs. I can't fucking get past all, mate. What the fuck's all that? Oh, he, he's he's midlife crisis appointing emo. Yeah. Well, I suppose he has been for the last ten years. <laughs> oh, Is it, that's the that's the kind of pity about social media and all these things, like because. In years gone by, like right, I've no idea. I don't know. Take fucking random fighter, Titus Bramble. For example, fucking or not Titus Bramble, fucking. Livingston Bramble, Livingston Bramble, some of these guys. Don Kerry, 
I don't know what the fuck they were like in their relationships. I don't know like what they felt like when they were heartbroken. I don't know what their fucking fashion faux pas were, but now I have to fucking see everything. Why can't I just remember Shane Mosley as a great fighter? I have to remember him as this fucking romantic slip going around in a see-through top. Fucking ruining me. Fucking you know, the, the, here on all these fights. Those, those, those would go Tony's really fans. well with Oscar's fishnets. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the pony is misses for a win against Ricardo Mayorga. He might have to get a last slap. Uh, <laughs> oh, brilliant, Rob, man. Aaron Superman Davis crying. Yeah, I don't want to fucking do that either. He's just Aaron Superman Davis. Marilyn Sterling's just Marilyn Sterling. I don't know about any love letters he wrote to fucking ones on. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, what he's really missing is one of those uh, half yellow, half gold Danny Garcia jackets. Oh, no, don't encourage him, whatever you do. Anyway, he might get into influence. Only 100 bucks. Boxing. It's probably all he can afford, Steve. <laughs> exactly. Someone tagged the asylum accounting on this. I don't know how or why, but it ended up with like about 500 retweets or likes or something. It was booming. So I don't know who this guy is. Oh, this is An- Anison Gibb. Apparently, he won the Influencer Boxing Championship. On Saturday evening, Matthew, I don't know if he's... He knocked someone out on his own or something, didn't he? Look at his nipples, man. They're like Logan, but he's dipped in ball for all the fucking nipples, man. <laughs> no, Steve, uh, I, I can't say that I was aware of the goings-on of the ICB, but I guess I'll have to start paying well, attention. Rob seems to know. Right, the zone, Rob, yeah? I could be wrong now on that if it was the zone, but he knocked someone out in four rounds. He stopped the guy. He looked actually not bad. He was one of the YouTubers who looks like he can have a fight. But... That's where we are now. You know what I mean? That's where we uh, are. Yeah, the casual eye over the fucking YouTubers. Same, can't, can't same, fight. G- same in Germany last night, Steve, as I was mentioning, these influencers and you, 25,000 fucking live subscribers. Fucking. Uh, I, just, swear, I swear. I swear. I need my and Robin in the ring here, by the way. That's what we need to do. I'd kill Matty, wouldn't I? Right. <laughs> 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 but um, we, 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 I was in Germany, right? And I was buying. Um, Buying runners or something in the shop, and it was all these. You're buying what? Like, rubbers? Like, runners, 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 trainers, trainers. As we oh, call them, obviously, they're, rubbers, they're mate. You need, you need to be clear here now. No, it's not the fucking eighties, man. What do you think? I'm sorry, about? man. You're not even going to be rubbers. <laughs> um, I, Rob, the, the, I wouldn't do it unless you trimmed your beard. I'm just saying that right now. That's unfair. <laughs> Neither That's of you are passing border, are you? Anyway, go on, Rob. Exactly. <laughs> but I was in a <laughs> fucking. I was in a like um. A sneaker store or whatever and I'm buying a pair of runners like, and there's these little girl, young ones and they're all like fawning over this guy and I was saying to the missus man he must be fucking must be a pop star like he must be like Hasselhoff out here and I called <laughs> him I was like and they're all like getting his autograph and taking a picture with him and I was like come here who's your man and they were like he's YouTuber that's <laughs> like fuck him <laughs> what the fuck is that so am I <laughs> a picture of me <laughs> hi Rob's a YouTuber yeah you're a YouTuber as well exactly uh, anyway Deanne Song Gibb congratulations to you uh, finally, he's been back again. I don't think he's selling anything yet, but look out for Floyd in the ping pong circuit, playing here with his mate. Hey, 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 hey. You, you're a tricky player, so it's twenty to fifteen. Why? He's tricky. I come back. Why? You know he's an ace. Now you're gonna switch up on me. It's gonna be tough, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. But I gotta try to pull it off. You ready? A lot of speed. Damn! Oh. Come here. Did Floyd have an exhibition fight for in Japan planned here? I tell, tell you what, for a fella who's amassed such a big, big fortune, he definitely looks like he has a lot of real and genuine friends around him, doesn't he? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I actually feel a bit sorry for him, man. He's, oh, I don't know. Did he yell out that he's Asian? Did I? Yeah, did that's I what he said, yeah. yeah. Okay. See, see, but honestly, he's got, see all the cars. How many cars has he got there? But fucking oh, there's loads. Yeah. yeah, easily. Fucking, match the, match the fucking insurance fucking paperwork every fucking year. Of the sort of, oh, shit, uh, road tax. Fucking hell. Fucked out, fucked out, looking for a handout territory, I think. I mean, the thing is, it depreciates every fucking year in value, does mm. it not? Mm-hmm. Some of them do. Some, Some of them do. do. Uh, it depends on the, depends what ones he's got there. Car, yeah. Cars can be a good investment. The, the newer shit, it's, it's all questionable, though. He's embarrassing, any Floyd. Not all that money, no friends. He's just, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I think he doesn't seem to have any like fresh vocabulary, fresh banter. 
It's always the same. The hand signal was like he's fucking trying to bring in a fucking airliner or some shit, you know. <laughs> People with money get bored. Like that, that's he had another one. When you can have everything, what do you do? Mm. He had he had another one from today. I didn't have time to clip it for the for the show, but he's um he's back selling things. He's back selling. Like, Matt, you love this. He's selling uh, access to online gambling. Oh mate, did like, he? Did he? Leave it. Leave it to wait to get by. Uh, honestly, I've got I've got one as well for him. Oh, I got it. All right, I'll right, okay, okay. bring it up as well. I'll bring you into it, mate. <laughs> Right, uh, what have you got then for us, Andy? That's all the ones oh, I've got. I'll just, I'll just uh, segue in it and then bring Rob into it because obviously, as Rob has mentioned, he's on there uh, on Instagram. He's uh, bet online, I think it was. Uh, the, the, the money man saying that he's putting 50 G's, 50 G's on the Baltimore Ravens to beat the New York Jets. So the Floyd Mayweather money man's going right off the fucking cliff here, putting his money in his mouth as and belt, betting against the worst fucking team in the NFL. So, I don't know where you go for his 50 Gs, but I'd imagine it wouldn't be a fucking great lot in return, I would imagine. He's um, he's getting good money on fucking Aberdeen to beat Rangers. <laughs> 50 Gs on Everswell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait and see then. we we'll need to wait and see. No, but, but the uh, ad is bizarre. Did you see the ad that's like, I'm Floyd. He's selling online gambling. He's like, you know, the usual, this is Floyd Money May, and we're going to make the money all day. We're doing some online gambling, and I am the GOAT. So I'm going to continue to feed the goats. And he's got like a stack of hundreds and he's got he's two baby goats. <laughs> he's got like two baby goats in the seat beside him and he's like trying to feed him the money and all. It's fucking mental, man. I don't want them. Again, another bizarre Floyd Mayweather ad. Like... <laughs> For fuck's sake. One of our goats died yesterday. I could have pulled off something like that, Andy. I'd have had a fucking RSPC <laughs> at the door. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, the, you the, fucking, the fucking RSPCA show up and they're like, there's a hundred US dollars in this fucking goat's mouth. We know the culprit's <laughs> open and shut me. Yeah, well, I'm thinking there. I'm thinking, did anybody ever watch Jeremy Clarkson's uh, uh, farm show on Amazon? And he gets the no. fucking phone call and he says, Wayne Rooney's dead. It was one of these fucking rams <laughs> fucking died in the fucking game. <laughs> 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 gotta love that he had a ram he's playing Rooney <laughs> oh my god any more Andy <laughs> uh, yeah sorry mate um, yeah, I, 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 I hope also it might be on the night actually because seeing as the NFL season starting back up but it was a battle of the running backs last night don't know if you've seen it Matty Adrian Peterson the Hall of Famer fighting uh, Le'Veon Bell that's all I heard about it though so I well, Bell Bell knocked him out, fucking jab to the body, I think it was, and kind of faked a right hand, the shot the right hand over the top and dropped Peterson square on his ass. Cracking knockout. It was actually cracking knockout. That was yeah. That was like like the, all a Charlo. Uh, well, like, just about me. Well, I was sticking the chat. I got did it. So I was sticking the chat for you. Give me a second. Right. There you go. By okay. the way, okay. and the one I don't know who he gave this one. Maybe the uh, the kind of hand cartel. So RJ. On Twitter, actually, he kind of like loves to kind of issue some receipts. He says, leaders of the Kinahan cartel have fled their homes in Dubai and are moving between the UAE, Qatar and Jordan. Some have attempted to travel to Asia under assumed names as the international manhunt to bring them down to justice intensifies. So uh, maybe we need to start looking under fucking said sand dunes or near sand dunes possibly. Could be hiding in there just to kind of pass that one on as well, mate. So... Well, one for Fury. Fury for some of the fucking shit he's coming at me, man. He's he's. I think he's. I think he's going to announce a WWE tour. I think actually, to be fair, I I'm with Rob. I, I I do not believe this this offer is legit. But at the same time, is why send the offer? Why book the dates and stadiums, and then try and move the goalposts all of a sudden? Like you know, it's going to be this day. I, I, I don't know. It's just not adding up for me for some reason. So I'll add Fury what? in there for, just for good banter. The thing about it is, why have the other date booked if you want to fight? You know what I mean? Yeah. I was 17th of December, apparently, was, was, was one of the first dates. And now it's become early December and then late November was the two dates, I think. I don't know why. It's just it's, something's off with me about that one. Like, I, just, I can't figure it out yet. Yep, something's definitely off. Matty, any uh, Belly of the Week nominations from you, please? Uh, God. Other than that chick dying and fucking overboxing, I can't think of anything. Well, here, on that subject, Matty, we had one come in here late, which I've just cut. Frank Warren has explained that they put on uh, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua talks on hold following the passing of Queen Elizabeth and will resume in the next week. 
Tyson and I, we just don't feel it's appropriate at the moment. Out of respect for Fuck North off. Get it, me, <laughs> man. Get fucking off. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ, man. <laughs> hey, Rob, what do you feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> I, better, I think I best off sit this one out, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anybody the weeks, Rob? <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think just Fiori, like, I'm so sick of it. I'm, like, I understand it's theatre, it's analytics, it's keeping the brand, it's keeping the fucking money train running but I'd say he's maybe wanting to protect some of his assets that may get frozen somewhere down the line and he's wanting to make big fights quickly so that might pay some kind of um you know he needs dividends from the from the uh trip to the Saudi or whatever going to be December but I'm just so oh, I'm so fucking sick of hearing their two names mentioned together when there's absolutely zero chance of this fight being made zero and i don't think it gets made next year either but i have that one so um i think we never see it what are they doing with this i mean seriously if this one have like a bit of banter just like fucking stretch eddie and joshua just for a fucking laugh i mean i i I know we'd probably would laugh at it but seriously you've got you got any fucking cock teasers with fucking dates you've made contract offers and then you're going to say well well you know Queen died and all this other stuff and we've got the dates made up. Saudis maybe they need to push it back. We want the seventeenth, but it's got to be this date. What What's the it, fuck? A, 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 the it was so easy. They sent the offer, they sent the dates. Now all of a sudden it's got to be this, this and that and the fucking. I, just, I can't That's understand just, it. It's just a big. It's just a. It's just because they had twenty four hours to sign in on Thursday. Yeah, the Queen dies, right. and now all of a sudden they're going into ten days of mourning because, you know, Frank Warren just couldn't bring himself to negotiate at a time like this. Would you fuck off, man? Will you? Give me a break. Can, can, can you imagine if a fucking tax man came to Frank Warren's door tomorrow? I think Frank's going to say, oh, sorry, I'm in morning. <laughs> no, we'll see you in the afternoon, pal. We'll fucking sort you out then. You tax man's like, I heard that one before, man. I'm back. Give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're out. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That's all of the ones. Anything from Oz? Uh, nothing this week, Johnny. Uh, so let's go through them again very quickly and see who is picking what. So first of all, we had uh, Isaac Lowe with his said day. We had the Zapoteca belt. We had the Groat and the usual suspects and the unusual suspects as well. We had Tony Bellew with a bit of ring licking, as he likes to do. It is the Bellew of the week after all. We had uh, Gavin McDonnell getting stuck in on history. We've got the Bomber again. We've got uh, AJ himself. We've got Savannah Marshall with Manjaros. We've got Joe Goosen, AB, Alicia Baumgarder eating, eating that ass. We've got uh, Ruiz, mm. Shane Mosley and his dress sense. We had the ICB Influencer Boxing Championships. We had the, the fella doing the protest. Floyd Mayweather doing the ping pong and all the ones that the boys threw in. So quite a nice little week as well. <laughs> yeah, chemical in a hand. Who are you going for, Andy? Episode 491. Hey, I'm going to go for uh, Rob's good lady, uh, Lisa Baumgartner. Um, she just sounds pure filth, mate. She can eat my ass anytime. There we go. Oh, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. You can tell she would, she, she'd be a walk home well, in any prison's fucking yard by a week. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia for you Rob who are you going for yeah it's a toss <laughs> it's a it's toss a up <laughs> <laughs> it's a salad toss up between uh, uh, AB and AB because uh, Alicia Baumgarten you're following a, a, a fucking popular trend at the moment because there was one UFC fighter as well now don't ask me because as you know I'm a fucking casual observer when it comes to the <laughs> MMA so I don't know but there's a, there was a guy one of the guys and he was going on a rant like a kind of a Booker T rant and he was like you better win your next fight because after you win your next fight I'm coming on your ass I mean I'm coming for that ass he was like, <laughs> the, the ass I think it was mate yeah so, <laughs> so and then and then Bob Gardner is eating the ass and AB is showing his ass so uh, uh, fucking Ars Bear Adrian Broner AB um, getting his only fans on with his hands up on the hotel bed like and someone said that we just don't fucking say that to me I don't want to see that for fuck's sake um, so yeah I'll go with Bob Gardner because she had her fight postponed so um, we give her some kind of title. You let her garden your bum any day, wouldn't you, Rob? <laughs> she we'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go for her as well, Matty. Someone else said that recently. I don't know if it was Danny Garcia or some other boxing simpleton came out with a similar comment. But this week, it looks like it's three for Alicia. Uh, and who are you going for, Matt? You know, uh, just to throw one in there, uh, a little bit different. I'm going to go for the WBC saying that the Ruiz Ortiz fight was a fight of the year candidate. Um, nonetheless, uh, to keep up with the theme, they can eat my ass uh, in regards to that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, maybe, Matty, if you're lucky, 
Uh, could be this fellow. He hasn't eaten anything in a long time, I'd say. So he'd probably be glad of a good meal. Can you imagine what his asshole looks like? Boot pass as well. Caught him in that state for the first base. Man, to be honest with you. He's so good. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, man. Jesus Christ. Fuck's sake. Oh, <laughs> this one's gonna get canned, isn't it? Looks like the degenerative. Of, it looks like the fucking degenerative effects of syphilis. Like we're killed Al Capone's beard, isn't it? <laughs> I just love Don's <laughs> Solomon Jose in the background. Uh, <laughs> just watching on. One of the most legit characters in boxing, that guy, eh? Probably got remember some. That, remember that one, Steve? What was the fucking fight again? They say, ah, it was a Louis Santana against yeah. Terry Norris. Go on to the yeah. Patreon and listen to this one, boys. Fucking hell. Louis so Santana must be. Louis, Louis Santana is the only person <laughs> to win and successfully defend the world title by getting fucking knocked out. <laughs> fucking tell me, man. You need to go and listen to this shit. This is incredible stuff. Ah, uh, there's some good stuff. So, uh, yes, there we go. That's Bully Week for episode it's, 491. It's the booty of the week this week, Steve. <laughs> the the booty. booty. Oh, oh sorry. I had, a, I had a late... I had a late, I had fucking one there that we've given out the awards, but Wilder was at it again uh, over the gloves, wasn't he? He was back out saying that the, oh, he knows aye. Fury cheated, oh, and that's why he won't take him in a fourth fight, because he knows... He knows to this day. Anyway, it's not his yes. week. It's Alicia hey. Baum Gardner's. She has won the belly of the week. Congratulations for episode four nine one. Ooh. Ooh, that is what's going on? I'm totally unrelated. Note by the way, what's going on Ooh. the Obanov case? Is he ever? Is he, what's what's the crack there? What was the verdict? Uh, I don't know. It's taken a long time for it to go to trial. You get the row. They, they robbed it fucking day. Some fucking say jailbreaking. You know. Get her in there, man. Get her out. <laughs> we'll call her out. <laughs> <laughs> Become that, become that knight in shining armour on the white horse. Right. Uh, well done, Alicia. Uh, quick uh, notes of housekeeping. Poundland employees said, are you on iTunes these days? We're back on iTunes, thankfully.